Hello everyone, my name is Kushal Ingle and today we will learn about the parental care in amphibia, which is a very special and interesting phenomenon seen in amphibians. But friends, before going to start our topic, first of all, we must know a little bit basic information about the amphibians. So friends, based on the characters of amphibians, which are found on present day, the amphibians are classified into the three orders. These are the first one, Anura, Urodela and the Apoda. Anura includes frogs and toads. Urodela includes salamanders and Apoda includes the limbless amphibians. So friends, all these groups of amphibians shows parental care either by protecting their eggs or by protecting their developing young ones. So friends, these amphibian parents carry out their care in early developmental stages by two ways. That is by constructing nest and by direct nursing. Here now we will learn these two ways of the parental care in various examples. So in case of the Ishtypis glulinosa, the female will dig a hole in the moist soil near a pond and then female will deposit her eggs in it. And finally, around this egg mass, the female or the mother will coil herself and protect these eggs mass from their enemies. Moving to the next example, that is about the Eurodela. In case of the Eurodela amphibians, they lay very small sized eggs. That's why they hatch and directly develop into the larvae. Hence, if the larvae are formed in this type of the animal parental care, is not required very much. So, as I discussed before that, some amphibians make their nest also for protecting their developing young ones. Here, in this mechanism is shown by Salamandrilla caesarlingi, which will construct a gelatinous bag-like structure which is attached to an aquatic plant below the water. So, in this bag, eggs are stored, thus they are protected by the nest. In another example, in case of the autodax, will lay their eggs in a dry hole on the soil or in a hole on a tree. The parents also live in that hole and protect their eggs until the larvae developed from them. In case of the amphibuma, the female will coil herself around the eggs and protect them from the enemies. In other example, in case of the dusky salamander, the female will carry her eggs along with her. Specifically, these eggs are attached around her neck region. In case of anura amphibians, the parental care is reached at its peak. In case of many frogs and the toads, they build their nest in which the eggs are laid and developed. In case of the hyla fiber, which is a Brazilian tree frog. In this case, the female will construct nest in a shallow water of a pond and then female will dig a hole which is of about 8 to 10 cm in depth. The mud which comes out of it is used by the female hyla to build a wall around the hole so that this wall will never allow the water to enter within this hole and in this way the eggs and larvae are protected inside the hole or the nest. The another anuran amphibia called as the Racophorus malabaricus. In this amphibia, female will lay her eggs on the branches or leaves of the tree which will be hanging over a pond. Now what happens that when this larvae comes out outside after the hatching from the eggs, they will fall directly into the pond water and undergo development or the metamorphosis. In case of the Racophorus, which is also called as the Japanese tree frog, in this example, both male and female frog will make a burrow in the uh, moist soil near a pond edge. Later on, female filled this hole with the help of the foam and will deposit her eggs inside this foam. Male and female will make tunnel, a uh, tunnel-like structure for exit into the pond. After development, the larvae from the eggs 
विल कैरिड आउट थ्रू दिस टनेल इन टू द पॉन्ड इन केस ऑफ द हाईरोड्स विच इज एन अमेरिकन फ्रॉग इन विच द फीमेल डिपॉजिट हर एग्स आइदर इन मॉइस्ट प्लेसेस और अंडर द स्टोन्स आफ्टर हैचिंग द एग्स द गिवस टाइनी एडल्ट नाउ कमिंग टू द अदर वे थ्रू विच द पेरेंट्स शोज डायरेक्ट नर्सिंग दिस मेथड इज मोर एडवांस्ड दैन प्रोटेक्टिंग द एग्स एंड लार्वी बाय कंस्ट्रक्टिंग नेस्ट हेयर वी विल लर्न अबाउट सम एग्जाम्पल्स विच शो दिस टाइप ऑफ द पेरेंटल केयर सो इन केस ऑफ द मार्सुपियल फ्रॉग विच हैज अ स्पेशल पाउच इन इट्स स्किन दिस पाउच ओपन्स आउट थ्रू एन ओपनिंग नियर द क्रोएका वेन फर्टिलाइज एग्स आर ट्रांसफर्ड इन टू दिस पाउच दिज एग्स आर स्टोर्ड इन दिस पाउच वेयर दे अंडर गो डेवलपमेंट एंड टेटपोल्स आर लिबरेटेड आउटसाइड द अदर फ्रॉग दैट इज राइनोडर्मा डार्विनी कॉमनली कॉल्ड एज द लिटल साउथ अमेरिकन फ्रॉग इन दिस केस द फर्टिलाइज एग्स आर ट्रांसफर्ड इन टू द वोकल सैक ऑफ द मेल फ्रॉग एंड द डेवलपमेंट टेक्स प्लेस आफ्टर द complete development the young individual which will jump out from the mouth of this male frog so friends till now we we'll learn lots of examples which proves that amphibian exhibit or they shows a good amount of the parental care so here i hope that this concept of the parental care in amphibia will clear to you and definitely helpful for your study also friends if you like this content please subscribe this channel and forward this video to your friends thank you so much